Hi, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. No, no, I think my name is Mud. No, not really. Is that that Primus song? My name is Mud. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I wasn't going to say anything. No, we're going to say. Just yet. I wasn't. I just, yeah. I've heard that saying, well, when it rains, it pours. Let's just say today started out pretty good, and then it hit the fan. And not just not just um, uh, metaphorically. No, literally. It, we, yeah. Literally. Here we go. <laughs> and this cat here is named Jet. Yes. And Jet is a stone oh, cold it? killer. Yes. She's got the claws. And normally, she is not inside at all. No, no. She is an outside barn cat. Um, but it, the temperatures have dropped drastically. Uh, last night, it was negative 32. Well, this morning when I woke up. Yeah, it was at colder. At 6.30, it was negative 32. And it was just so cold. So we brought her inside. Her whiskers were froze. She did. She had frozen whiskers just so she could warm up. And these last couple of weeks, she had a nice, thick fat layer on her uh she lost Use some weight man. because she uh was trying to keep warm but we've been giving her milk every day ow. she's pawing you because she loves you no i love you too but ow stop with the claws yeah so, so we like this cat it's yeah. a good cat and um i mean she kind of acts like a dog in a lot of ways she's such a sweet kitty and I, I know very rare, a very few barn cats that will come to you when you call them. These are yeah. Giddy. Yeah, kitty. Look at her, she's flexing yeah. her crawls. Oh, she's a good girl. But um, yeah, so she's Jet good. is gonna. It's funny because she keeps trying to get out, but I think if if the cold hit her, she'd probably be like, well, maybe, maybe we'll not. stay in the garage for a little while longer. Oh, she's a good girl. So yeah. That feels so good, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Alrighty guys, homeschool update. We're visiting, we're visiting Google because no, we... No, no, I'm not visiting Google. I no? don't visit Google for everything. Actually, I... I wasn't accusing no, you. No, I know you weren't. No, I, um, uh, I have a unit measure, a unit, uh... A chart. Not a chart, but it's a... Whatever they call it. I have no idea what you Translator, I guess you could call it. Oh, um, a measurement. To where you can um, put in a metric measurement and get a standard measurement, American standard measurement. So We're learning about Google, or not, not saying We're not Google. learning about We're Google. We're learning about pecs and bushels. We're, well, Caleb is regrouping units of measure we, via addition and subtraction. So he wasn't grasping the concept, so we're going over it in depth. But the problem was, is I can't remember how many pecs are in a, or how many quarts are in a bushel. No, how many quarts are in a peck. So that's why I needed the book. Instead of bluffing your way through <laughs> as many not, teachers would I do. I not bluff my way through it, because I want to know. And I just, that's a measurement that is not commonly used in our household. We have used pints and quarts and ounces and tablespoons and cups and all that other stuff. I've got that down. That's no big deal. But pecs and bushels, I don't have That's, that. you know, a lot of people that do canning would do that, but we're new to this yes. stuff. I mean, we do we do small scale things, but, right. but we don't go buy fruit in, in, in massive bushels. amounts. No. Like that one time I made cookie pizza and I forgot to put enough flour, flour in it. He yes, he did not read the measure the the uh, ing the ingredients properly and he put it said two one quarter cup of flour. He put two one, one quarter, quarter cup of flour. So he was trying not, to make cookies by the way. So cookies, yeah, sorry. but yeah, so he made chocolate chip cookie pizza and it was delicious. It was really good, but it was still. I said it Different. was a delicious mistake. It was a delicious mistake. It was a delicious so, mistake. So, to clarify, let me tell you how many. There's eight <laughs> quarts in a peck. Eight quarts in a peck? Eight quarts in a peck, and there's four pecks in a bushel. Okay. I don't know what a, I don't know what a peck is. I mean, I, is it a basket size? I know a bushel is a basket size, isn't it? What's the, um, what's the... Uh, rhyme the the tongue twister rhyme 
you talk about pecs. Bushel and a peck. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know that, that one. one. I don't know that one. Meanwhile, Brutus. Brutus, he's keeping the floor down. One big he's fluffy. He's dreaming. Yeah, he's dreaming. Well, he we dreams. need to talk on a video, and we'll do that probably soon, mm -hmm. on the importance of keeping records. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, because... Well, we'll get into it, but if you are homeschooling at all, or even if you're just, you're, you're stuck at home and schooling. Right. Um, keeping records, grades, uh, what you do, when you do, it makes a huge difference. And it may make a difference in what job you get or don't get or go to college or you don't get to right. go to college. And, and even if your state is very lax on record keeping, you still need to keep those records. Well, and we have personal experience on two guys trying to get in the military saying, no, we graduated. And from two different states. So, yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. We'll talk about that in the future. Yeah. Now, back to not bothering mom. So, so now I know that for some of you out there, when you say that you want to get going in homesteading and, and you say that um, you can't be where you want to be, you, you can't live where you want to live, and so for some of you that's true, you may have a medical reason that you have to stay near a hospital or um, legitimate work reasons or even a family issue but where you live uh, that for most of us if we're honestly telling the truth it's kind of an excuse because we just really don't want to move or we don't want to change as much as we really say we do and where you live where you choose to homestead where you choose to be is a huge difference in how things are going to turn out, uh, what you're going to have to spend, how you're going to have to invest. And if you watch our videos, people, you'll know that we, in the beginning, when we moved to Wisconsin, we got it wrong more than we got it right. Praise God and thank Him that we're now finally acclimating and doing things and making the right purchases and and all of the things that go along with it. We, we were very blessed in that we ended up hanging out with the right people. God put the right people in the right places at the right times so that we didn't end up making really bad mistakes. I mean, we made mistakes, don't get me wrong, but where you choose to live is, I mean, your homestead, When where you choose to end up, it makes a big, big difference um, as to what, how you'll spend your time, what purchases you'll make, how you're gonna deal with your animals. We were wrong on so many things. Like for example, just a, here's a, for, a little for instance. Cows, they're, they're, they're cold hardy animals. We treat our cows with great respect and great health conscious decisions, but they can be out when it's zero. As long as they got some kind of windbreak or they can get in uh, or away from the wind, they're, they're not gonna be in a bad situation. However, when it gets really cold, you got issues, those things change. So yeah, today is all about the honeydew list, but everything is different when you're, when, when you're talking about negative 32 below zero and it's windy. The jobs change, everything, you don't do it the same way. <laughs> One thing, for example, having good gloves. Having good gloves 
is not only um, practical, it can help you probably save your hands. Yeah, good gloves. And up here, where we live, most folks heat with firewood just because it's generally the most affordable, uh, especially for the older houses that it's hard to retrofit a house um, for central heat and air in a lot of cases. But knowing what you've got, what BTUs it'll do, how much you're gonna need, yada yada yippy skippy, that is an important thing that a lot of people don't learn until you've been here a few years and we're finally starting to learn it, but uh, you still, still, you gotta keep on top of it. And even still, sometimes you misjudge it. It's been really, really cold. Aha, you see? Brad can be taught. The, uh, the block heater, I'm not gonna rip it off this time. I gotta tie it on here better. But at least we're learning. We may be slow, but we're learning, right? Even something silly like the door. The door here is frozen. Both of them are. They won't. They won't stay latched. There's ice that's gotten up into the mechanism, so we got to heat it up. And uh, silly little things. You learn them as you go. All righty, guys. You've waited. The sunlight is shining. Hope is here to save the day. Who let the cows out? Hope. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys. Hey, Dottie, don't you want to go outside? It's nice. We'll, we'll give them the option anyway. They usually like to get out when it's sunshiny. Oh, she broke the door. You ripped it. Yeah, they pretty much ran out there the second they had a chance. You, I don't know. Pretty sure you did it, Hope. But look at him first thing. He's like, let me out of here. I want to roll. He can't. He's in a snowbank. <laughs> He's like, I'll go find a better spot. I agree. Even things like, whoop. <laughs> This hay ring uh, getting frozen to the ground. You gotta watch where you put it, how it sits, and use your tools so that you don't end up killing yourself doing a simple thing like moving a hay, hay ring. Well, it's not every day you get to fling around 20, 30, 40 pounds of frozen dump. Gotta love it. Challenges everywhere. <laughs> Yummy! Might need some safety uh, protection on the eyes there, huh? <laughs> Pay attention, folks. This is not dirt. The funny thing is, the frozen dookie is a lot easier to deal with, believe it or not, for the most part. Then the regular dookie. There goes mama. See you, mama. Because it's frozen. You can just kind of fling it around. It doesn't even really make a mess. And it doesn't stink right now. So that's a nice plus. And if it ain't one thing, it's 20 all at once. See, ow. Oh, I almost ditched. Um, yeah. We heard a little explosion of pop just a minute ago. Ah, that should be a little better. Ooh, move that up so nobody trips on that. Uh, power goes out. So, we, we thought this was just a gunshot or something, like somebody was shooting, I don't know. But I guess we gotta call the power company because no juice. <laughs> so, the frozen dookie, not that big of a deal. No. It's, it's actually no big, to be honest, it's easier to deal with than that's sloshy, easy. goopy dookie, but... That's really easy. I would take frozen dookie any day of the week. Well, no, I... Yes. Let, let, me, let me set this up. <laughs> we didn't film it because the, the linemen 
came to look at the power situation while this was happening. But um, Nana is on her menstruation. Nana's in heat. She's heated up. Okay. She's fiery. <laughs> and you, you, well, you figured out, they figured out a way to, to use a baby diaper. No, we're using adult diapers. Adult men diapers. And then they cut a hole for the tail, mm -hmm. and that way she doesn't make a mess all over the house. Right. right. Well, um, when she was outside with us, she was out there a long time, and I didn't think about it, but she was kind of prancing around. and Running then, around. And then the power went out, so we were busy dealing with that, and we're still dealing with that. But, sidebar, now I'll tell you later. Well, no, I'll tell you right now. The reason why you're watching this is because I can edit without having power from the power company because we have solar backup. Yes. We have, the, uh, the electric the company's, company's here. It will be back. No. I... Okay, so that's just another part of our day. Quick recap. I can't see. I can't see. Well, if, for those of you who live in the north, when the sun is shining and you're out uh, in, in the, with the snow, the, the snow is reflecting the sun and it just... Gets green when you shut your eyes. Everything's green and it hurts. So, just another part of this crazy day. Quick recap. So, working outside, mm -hmm. Dookie, power goes out. Mm -hmm. Nana was out there with us. Nana's got adult, an adult diaper on. Mm -hmm. And we got busy trying to figure out what was going on. Poor Nana could not use the bathroom. And we didn't realize it until she was inside the house. And we're like, uh, I think Nana needs to have her diaper changed because of the menstrual thingy, the heatness, the hotness. Right. Uh, it, was, it was a little bit more than that. Poor Hope. She's like, she pooped in this. <laughs> and Hope is like... Gross things gross her out. Like she can deal with cow manure, but when it comes to dog poop or gross, human, yeah. human, anything human or animal poo, I should say dog, no. dog poo. She doesn't mind the donkey. No, I meant I meant to say dog, not animal. But so anything human or dog just grosses her out. So she filled this thing up. And it was all over. And now, and so get, it gets so, even better. So without power, those of you who have a well, your well Can't, pump doesn't no pump water. water. No, no water. So, thankfully, we had baby wipes. <laughs> so I'm out on the front porch because I'm not doing that in the house. No. And I didn't put a coat on and it's, what, negative nine outside. Yeah, it's it was, warm. It's warm it's now. It's warm. Uh, thankfully, the sun was shining. Um, so I'm out there wiping Nana's crusty derriere, and her neighbor comes over. <laughs> and and Nana's always barking at the neighbor, even though the neighbor doesn't deserve it. Nope. <laughs> and she's standing there. <laughs> There's crusty poo. Oh. You got a crusty poo dog. It's gross. And Nana's barking, and it's... and he's trying to talk to me to to figure out, hey, what's going on? Right. And so you finish that barely up. And lo and behold, this was crazy. The power company came out within a half hour. Yeah, they were here half an hour after we called. And, of course, it's, you know, super cold outside, so they have to because if you're without power for any length of time. Well, and, you know, of course, Grace being a special needs mm -hmm. young lady, then they have to. Right. But, right. um Whoa. But then, it, well, as you saw then, they showed up, they fixed it. It was just, I guess they set a fuse. A fuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a fuse had blown out on the, at the street. At the pole. Yeah. At the pole. We'll see, we'll see you at the pole. What a nightmare. Not, and actually, okay, not a nightmare nah. as in super bad, but just one thing, one thing uh, after da, the da, da, next da, 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 and after da. the next. And it's like, okay, what next? What's going to happen next? Don't say that. No. I, don't say that. That's kind of like, for those of you who are folks of faith, it's like, don't ever pray for patience. Don't no. pray for patience, and I'll tell you why. No. Because you don't generally just get gifted patience. No. no. You generally have to go through a bunch of things that you will be taught to learn patience. Right. Right. And, don't pray for patience. And if you guys, are praying, if you guys are praying for me to have patience, please stop. 
It, it, just so you know, <laughs> for those of you who are going, what? Don't pray for patience. It's a joke, guys. It's, a joke. it's, it's, it's just, just a, a joke. running thing. It's, it's a running gag between us both, and it's because, yeah. yeah, God's going to give you, going to put trials of patience in your regardless, path. right? And we're not supposed to squawk back about it. That's no. there's, no, but I, it's a joke yeah. anyway. Um, I, I think I've had my fill, and um, I'm going to go buy you I'm a done. big Reese's, Reese's something. Yeah. I'm going to go to the store. Yeah. Okay. And I'll be back. Sounds good. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing blessed day. Mm-hmm.